Hello and welcome to David Photography. Today we're going to look at aircraft and this is a startup of how I'm going to be doing for next week Saturday and Sunday there's an air show in air Scotland so I've come here for a bit of practice and where am I? Let's find out As I said, we're here, we're in Newcastle International Airport, which of course is in Newcastle upon Tyne. Now, this is not the normal location. Like you would normally see when you come to this airport. I'm actually on the back side of the airport. Technically, I'm in line with the runway. Now, I can see the lights, and so there's a plane coming. And this is for me to actually get some practice framing and how the camera is going to react to having a light subject on possibly a very light sky. So we'll get a couple of pictures and see what happens. Uh, I don't know how long I'll be here for. I don't know how often the planes are going to be taken off, but it's it's an international airport, so you would expect quite a few planes are going to take off. So let's see how we're going to do today. And I'll put up any pictures that look all right, but I'm not actually coming to get pictures that are going to be any good. It's just a bit of a practice for aircraft in general. So I'll see you in a minute. Okay, now the idea for me is to find the plane and zoom right in. plane as it comes towards you and this might take some time as this plane is slowing down to land as you see the camera does have some trouble constantly keep focus on it and I have since the camera lens has zoomed right out the same amount of trouble maintaining the plane dead centre of the screen. Now this is a 75 to 150 lens so I don't have massive zoom on it and we're right at the 150 We'll just keep it locked on, trying to keep as still as possible, trying to get the, ca the ca plane to fill the frame of the camera. I'm still at my maximum 150. And take the pictures. Now that's much harder because the camera is actually in record mode at the time that I'm taking these pictures so it's not quite as accurate or as easy to take multiple pictures but that is the thought. Find the plane as soon as possible, zoom right in, wait till it fills the frame, slowly zoom back out taking your shots as it comes level and past you and hopefully that's what's going to happen next week at the air show but thing comes is that the likelihood is that the planes will be going much much faster 
than that plane coming into land. Okay, after that last bit of test shot where I ran the camera and took a couple of pictures, which you take it's much harder to do because the camera has to do two things at the same time. I've now moved and now I'm in direct line of the lights. So in all theory, if the plane comes in right on the lights, it will fly straight over the top of us. Okay, what I said was last time was that I have the lens, which is this one. And now I've added a times two and a half newer telephoto lens to the end of my 40 to 150 millimeter um, Olympus lens. I think I said it was 75 before. It's, it's 40. Well, it's a bit hard to remember what lens you've got and see it at the same time when you're trying to cut through things. So I'm now waiting for the next plane. And since the next plane is going to pass is a bl very far away sky. over there. I've got enough time to talk to you and do this bit. So if you might see behind us we have the lights which come on at night time to guide the plane in and now I'm here. Now we'll see what happens because I've took off what I had on and I had on this to cut down glare but it isn't bright enough today to seem to need that at all so I've took that off and I've added the two and a half times teleconverter so as soon as I see a plane coming I'll swap the lenses back over and get some pictures of that and see how that turns out the likelihood is that I won't do the video at the same time because you have the idea of what I'm trying to get. Acquire the target, follow the target, take the pictures once it fills the frame and then you're fine. You have to track. Now as we say the air show is going to be totally different than this. As you take it I'm right at the end of the runway and the plane is flying over and just in case you're wondering I'm actually on a public footpath which is right beside the airport so I am not on any private land or anything like that so we're, we're going to work on that and it's just to make sure that I can fast enough work out how to zoom out and things like that because it's being all done manually for me zooming in and out so we just wait for the next one the last one took somewhere between five and ten minutes between the plane that went over first to the one to that last video so I'm hoping that in the next five minutes another plane's gonna come in as you take it the planes have to have I think it's about four miles distance between a plane I'm not sure if that's what it is here in Britain but that was, it was said somewhat on, on something that it was about that distance that they had to be away from each other so when they're coming into land it's there's time period between they're not landing every minute and as I said I don't know how many planes are taken off or landing I did hear the, the engine sound of a plane and I think it must have took off in the other direction because it didn't come this way so after this next plane I'm gonna move along the road and then if any of them are taken off in the other direction I'll see if I can get any pictures of those ones of course there'll be more of the back of the plane and the plane taken off rather than in this direction where so far I've had the two planes both coming into land so we'll wait around see what happens but I'm not a person for standing around and waiting for aircraft to turn up or anything to happen I'd rather get some action done and get on with what I'm doing. So we'll see how long and how many more pictures I take um, before we go and have a look around at something else. So let's see what happens and I'll be back probably. Or
and I'm really looking forward to next Saturday and Sunday well technically when you see this video as I said this Saturday and Sunday 1st and 2nd of September and hopefully the sky may be like this it's not too bright so the camera's not going too wild on stuff there's some clouds in the sky it'll be nice and hopefully we not know what the crowds are going to be like we're not Sean Parkin and that lot but I might do another video on all the gear that I'm taking which is quite a bit um, but we'll see what happens so catch you in a minute